Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. In this lecture, we will learn about one more diameter which is called has transverse diameter. It is a lecture on pelvic inlet. Uh, in the last class, we have learned about the uh, anterior posterior diameters. Now let us learn about the transverse diameter and oblique diameters. So just give a minute. I'll just draw the diagram. So this is the diagram of pelvic which I have drawn. So if you see, now we are going to learn about the transverse diameter. So the transverse diameter, it is uh, seen between two different points. That is two farthest points on the pelvic rim over the iliopectineal line. So these are the iliopectineal lines. Over the iliopectineal lines, this uh, transverse diameter will represent the two farthest diameters of the pelvic inlet. So the two farthest diameters of pelvic inlet that is called as iliopectineal diameters. So which are transverse. I'm sorry, this diagram is a little tilted. So obviously it becomes tilted. Okay. So this is transverse diameter. So what is the length of this transverse diameter? It is 13 centimeters. Okay. Now just a minute, I'll draw one more diagram for oblique diameters. Okay. So this is the transverse diameter. Its diameter, its, di its dimensions is 13 centimeters. Okay, and now if there is, what are the points which are important here? So uh, this diameter it is closer to sacral promontory, and this diameter it will divide the brim into anterior and posterior segment. It will divide the brim into anterior and posterior segment. It will divide the brim into anterior and posterior segments. And the head will have to negotiate the brim through this diameter. Which is called as obstetrical conjugate. So this diameter is called as obstetrical transverse because this is the diameter through which the fetal head has to negotiate. So this is obstetrical transverse. Now this is described as a diameter which will bisect the anterior posterior diameter in the midline. Thus obstetrical transverse is equal to or less than the anatomical transverse. It is equal to or less than anatomical or equal is either equal to or less than anatomical transverse. But this transverse which is available. This is called as obstetric transverse because the head has to negotiate through this diameter. Okay, so this is about the transverse diameter. Now let us learn about one more diameter which is called as oblique diameter. Okay, now let us learn about oblique diameter. So in the oblique diameter, if you see, there are two oblique diameters, one in the right and the other in the left. So these two oblique diameters, they extend from the sacroiliac joint to the opposite iliopectineal eminence. Here there will be iliopectineal eminence. So it starts from the uh, sacroiliac joint of one side to the opposite iliopubic eminence. Okay. So this is obstetric conjugate. It measures around 12 centimeters. See, the transverse diameter it measures around 13 centimeters, and the oblique diameter it measures around 12 centimeters. Next, there is one more diameter which is called as sacrotyloid diameter. This is called as sacrotyloid diameter. I'll just draw it here itself. Okay, the what is sacrotyloid diameter? So this is oblique diameter, okay. There is one more diameter which is called a sacrotyloid diameter. This sacrotyloid diameter, it will start from the sacroiliac joint, sorry, sorry, not the sacroiliac joint. It will start from the sacral promontory. Okay, sacrotyloid. So it will start from sacral promontory. From there, it will end to the iliopectineal eminence or iliopubic eminence or iliopubic eminence. So this is sacrotyloid joint. Okay, so this uh, so this ligament is called sorry sorry so so this diameter is called as sacrotyloid. 
diameter the length of this sacrotyloid diameter it is 9.5 cm now what is the what does this sacrotyloid diameter represent this will represent the space occupied by biparietal diameter of the head this represents the space occupied by biparietal diameter of the head while negotiating the brim okay so this is sacrotyloid diameter okay so these are the different diameters of the pelvic inlet thank you guys for watching my lecture in my next class we will exp i'll explain about the cavity of the pelvis Thank you for watching my lecture. Thank you.